in this video we will discuss about how to upgrade exam to latest version without losing your data first of all open the exam control panel and start apache and mysql threads After starting them, okay, in my PHP my admin, you can see that there is a database which is named as wordslink underscore com dot dv. Now I'm going to export all these database. So the command is mysql dump space hyphen u space your username space hyphen p your password so my password is blank so i'm not giving anything and the next one is double dash all databases and then give the sql file name where all the database will be exported so hit enter and enter your password so in my case there is no password so i'm hitting enter without entering any password okay so now my database is exported in the exam directory so you can see that my database is here with dump hyphen db dot sql so i'm copying this file to my desktop so i can import this after upgrading my exam version so now stop the ph apache and mysql threads and exit, exit the exam control panel now rename this exam folder to anything so i am not able to rename this folder ok the shell is running so let me close the shell and re uh, try to rename again ok uh, so i have latest setup on my doc documents folder so I'm just installing this follow the exam procedure After, after installing the exam successfully, open the exam control panel and start your Apache and MySQL threads. Now open your phmyadmin and you can see there is no previous database available. So now the next step is to restore the backup. So first of all copy all the content from your stdocs to latest exam folder now if you open your project then it will give some database error cause we don't have that user and that database in our latest installation so let's so let's import the database but before this we have to configure a few settings in a php.ini file So we will increase max file upload size so it will not throw any error whenever we import our SQL database.
Okay, now all settings are done. Now restart Apache and MySQL. So now go to the phmyadmin and go to import tab and select your SQL file which you have copied on your desktop. and click on the go button and it will take few minutes to import your data and then you will get a success message that import has been successfully finished and you can see all your database in your new installation so we have to now upgrade our database with the latest mysql for this go to the go to the exam control panel and click on the shell icon and it, this will open the shell for mysql and here type the command which is mysql underscore upgrade and this will upgrade all the tables with the latest mysql and now try to refresh your phmyadmin if you get any error then don't worry about this now try to access your project and your project will work without any problem thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you